Okay, so today we're gonna to have another chat to you about, this one's gonna be about trainers that think that they're competing against other trainers. And we had a discussion on our um, business group yesterday and we kind of have it a little bit this morning as well. But the whole thing is around trainers that are competing with other trainers and what kind of people's point of views are, what are we thinking when this happens. And for me, there's a few different things I think we need to understand first before we really make judgment. So there is a misconception out there that trainers are always saying, I'm competing against somebody else. Like somebody else is going to take my clients. Somebody else is going to take my job at this gym. Somebody else is better than me. So, you know, I don't want to tell you about them because you'll leave them and you'll go and work with them and not me and I won't make any money. Make sense? Or oh, have you heard this before? Okay, so when you've got this mindset, and it comes down to a lot of mindset, that you cannot be associated with other people because they're gonna take your work from you. You're thinking from the mindset of scarcity. You're thinking, oh my gosh, there's not enough work for me, there's only a very limited amount of people that I can train and make money from and help serve. What am I gonna do? Um, now, I'm not saying straight away you go into an abundance. What I am saying is you could look at this differently. And what I say differently is like, imagine this scenario B. Scenario B is, yes, you start off as a PT, you try different things, and you start to develop this niche. You niche down, you get specific of what you deliver, and you target a particular audience. Now, if you target a particular audience, it's very unlikely that many others are going to target the same audience, or the further you niche down, the less competitors, let's say, you're going to have. So we put this in the real world. Let's say I'm a bodybuilding coach and I'm teaching bodybuilding. There's other bodybuilders around there, absolutely for sure. But you know, you'll have some coaches that are better on the nutrition side or better on the posing side or better on the competition side, that 12 week, 16 week phase going into the competition. Some are simply better at communication and training. And we can really start to lock down, lock down what we're really good at. And we can start to target the potential type of people. Like some people might be better dealing with females, young females, older females, males, younger males, older males, uh, more alpha dominant type males, more socialite kind of males, social females, dominant females. There's different types of personalities that we're gonna be able to attract and communicate better with. And so when it comes to trainer versus trainer, you start to remove this from your world because who you're actually assisting matters. You only get into this world of competitiveness when you think, okay, I'm a personal trainer, they're a personal trainer, and we train everybody, and everybody's our market, and if you take some, then I don't have any. How much market share will I have? The truth is what you need to do is create yourself a network. So yes, I'm very good at bodybuilding, but I might be good at the posing side. Someone else is very good at the nutrition side. Someone may be better at the vegan, someone may be better at dealing with certain types of people. Now, that's just one part of this network. The second part of it is you start to build a team around you so that you can refer out because people might come to you and they say, oh look, I need help with mobility. It's just simply not your space and you need to pass them on. So you literally do that. You literally, okay, I got a few people in my network that I know are really good at helping with mobility. You know, you want to build muscle but you're restricted because you've got such a, a short range of movement around the joints. So here, see these people and they can help you accelerate and get there faster. What that does is actually improves your value because of the trust the, uh, that you've given to this person. Say, look, it's okay to let you go because I know that I'm not, that's not my thing. And people really value honesty. That's why I'll trust you a heck of a lot more. So when you've got this network and you can refer people out, then there is no competitors amongst trainers. You know, you've got your circle and there's people you will and there's people you won't refer to. But at the end of the day, you start to remove this whole scarcity mindset and you start to be proactive what you're very, very good at. Know what you're good at, your strengths, and then know your weaknesses even better so that you can refer out to somebody else, and which a lot of people see value in. And then you can what you can start to do is because you get very good at what you do above what others do, then your price point and your value is much higher. You start charging more and you'd actually make actually will make more money from this. You won't have to work as many hours because you have a higher return per hour spent um, doing your trade. So it's really an interesting topic that we went through and we talked about. Um, I've definitely gone through a lot of learnings in this space, in this area, 
and it wasn't until I had to get the, the confidence in, yep, I am just doing this, this is me, this is what I'm better at, and I just started focusing on that, and then yeah, sure enough, it started standing out, which was a relief, to be honest, <laughs> I was just like, oh well, you know, that first time it happens, it's a, it's a nice feeling, and it does take a little bit to get there, because you start to really doubt yourself a lot, You're going, am I on the right path, am I doing the right thing, you question everything that you do, and you start to really want to go back and, and change things, so my biggest advice is, as you do build this network, yes, there's going to be some wins and some losses. The losses are what they are. And the more quickly you find these losses, the more quickly you'll find these wins. So get out there, um, connect with more people that are better than you, help people that are, need to be helped lift it up to where the standard you're at, and build that network so you've got these trainers around you that can really assist each other, work together for a stronger brand and reputation amongst the network. Hope this helped, and uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section down below. Remember, we do these videos so that can help you be successful with your business, and then potentially you can help us with our business as we move towards a million coaches and trainers getting advice, help, and assistance to becoming successful in their career. So yeah, till the next video, see you guys then.